Hi, my name is Adriana. Um, today I'm going to be doing which cages and which chew toys and all that stuff for hamsters. So let's get right into this video. So first I'm gonna start out with the cages. Um, so let's go. This is cage number one. Now, when I first got my first hamster, this is the cage that we got her. It's literally tiny. Now, if I pop this off like this, you guys can probably see the floor space. It's like one hand, two hands. They're like it's like like two feet or two inches, two feet. I think I'm not, I'm not smart. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so this is what she had when I first got her. She had, I'm sorry guys, she had a bowl, a water obviously, a wheel, and then her little hut. So, this was way too small. And then the bedding line should be up way higher than this. They need lots of bedding line. So, <clears throat> this is a cage that I do not want to get. I will be returning that because I just bought that for this video. <laughs> so I will be returning that. That is a horrible cage. Now, that is the cage that I put my first hamster in. First hamster. Which was my only hamster that I had so far. Uh, so yeah. And then I felt like it was too small, but my parents didn't want me to get me bigger because they said it was big enough. This is my other cage that I had for my hamster. Ugh. This is it. This is what it looked like. Don't make fun of my room, my guinea pig room. I'll show you my guinea pigs after. Um, it had a tube going up and then it had this that would connect, that would connect right, if you can see it in that hole right there. Um, so then if you open this one up, it was about the same exact floor space maybe a few inches bigger but this was not very big either it had a wheel it had a platform that i normally put her food on and then this does not have a very big bottom it's bigger but it doesn't have a super big bottom so yeah those cages horrible horrid <laughs> um so i'm gonna show you some cages that you should get now this is a cage you do not want. This cage is just like that cage and it is way too small. Even though it looks like it has lots of space, it, it does not. See this tube going up and then it comes out? That, they need to have floor space. Wait one second, I'm very sorry. Because it needs to be just floor split. split. Eh, I can't talk. Space, because those tubes are not gonna do much. And then this ball right here, nothing. Let me show you a good one now. Now that is one good hamster cage. Hamster cages need to have a very thick layer of bedding so that they can burrow like they would in the wild. And they do need lots of space because if they were in the wild, they'd be able to travel the whole world, but they cannot travel the whole world in a tiny cage like this. So this is a good cage. Let me show you a few more bad cages. Now this, this is the worst cage ever. And I went to Petco and I found a fire truck one just like this, but it was like a fire truck. So bad. They have absolutely no living space. This is how big their little bed is. That's the box. And then that's kind of the design of it, but whatever worst thing ever see it shows that you can connect to another cage but still guys that's horrible so yeah do not get that cage really bad and see if you look really closely you can see there's literally no living space you can go down the legs you go on the tail the neck it's not good for them to be crawling up and down like that so this is a bad cage first of all it's bad second of all look at the price 99 99.99, a hundred bucks. Horrible. Let me show you another horrible one. See this? This is another 
Huge mistake. You see how small that bottom is? You can't even put an inch of bedding. Horrible, let me show you another one. This you might be a good think, you might think would be a good fit for your hamster, but it is not. It is, they should not be having to climb up a second level to go up. And if you can see, there's only, oh, I'm sorry. There's only a small little base right there if you get really close. So this whole top part right here, that whole top part, there's no reason for it. And this much bedding, horrible. Those wheels, horrible. If there's holes in that wheel, that is a horrible wheel. They little foot could get stuck in the middle of the night and they could die right there. So that is horrible. Never get a cage that goes up two layers or levels or whatever you want to call it. See that? Very bad. Do you see how tiny that whole cage is? Yeah, very bad. No. Some good hamster cages. This is a great hamster cage. Big, wide. And the bedding, you need to put up to about here. And then you can put their wheel and stuff up here. You'd have to make a few holes, but that'd be okay. Um, they're gallon ter terranium. I don't know how to say it. Um, but they're actually very good cages. Like you, It's good to get bigger cages, but not to have levels. And if you have cages that are connected, that is not good either. Because they just, they need floor room. This is lots of floor room. So now let's go on to good hamster chews and hides. And bad. See this? Oh my gosh. This right here? That weird looking grass kind of stuff? Oh my. Don't ever get that for your hamster or any living animal you own. That could kill them. That has so many chemicals to make it look like that. Do not, do not, do not, do not. I went to the pet store yesterday to get um, some stuff from my guinea pigs. And they had exact set there. I did not buy it, I swear to God. I bought this instead. And I gave one to my guinea pigs. I bought this. They're so much better. They are hay balls that they can chew on. And here, you want to... There they are. There's one, there's two, and then there's one on the side where the brown one is. And then you see a chew? Right there. Okay. Let's get back to the video. This is a ball. A ball, a ball, a ball. So lots of people think these balls are awesome for their pets. Put them in while they're cleaning the cage, let them run. They're actually very bad. They can fracture their back. They can hurt their back severely bad. So if you're thinking about getting a hamster, please do not get a ball. These are amazing treats. They love them. They are um, natural and they you can get um like a few different flavors, but my hamster's favorite was these. Now let's go to the hides. This is a great hamster um, hut. They're great because they can put bedding in by themselves, um, and then they can hide whenever they would like, and they could go on top, they could bite. Now listen, if you see your small pet putting um, bedding into their cheeks, um, that they are not eating it. They're bringing it to another location. So if you think they're eating it or you see them swallow it, then you can bring them to a vet. But most of the time, they're just bringing it to a new location. This is not a great, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? I'm blank minded right now. What is the word? Got it. This is not a great choice because it is glass. And if it were to fall on your little animal, I'm very sorry, it is glass. And if your little creature went inside and it were to fall, it would get stuck in there. Or if it fell on top of your animal, it could get stuck, fracture a leg, fracture its head, and just, I would not pick glass. Can you guys see all of these? From this one, this one, or that one. These are all very great um, huts for them. First of all, hay, they can chew and hide inside of. This is a good option because it will help their nails. It's not like climbing up or anything. You can hang it on the cage, so it's not like climbing up. And then this soft one right here, sorry, right here, they can go in there and lay and take a little nap. So, those are good. Now let me show you bad. Sorry for the inconvenience, I'm at wheel. 
I'm gonna have to get used to not being able to erase what I already said or have to remake the whole entire video. I'm very sorry. Let me show you one more hut that my hamster really enjoyed before she passed away. This is what she got. She loved climbing up and hiding in there with her bedding. If you can see the little hole right here on the bottom, that is where she would chew the heck. And then like I would take the little um, staircase out there and then it's like she'd get so mad at me and she'd bite it and stuff like that. And when she passed away, I put that in there because it was her favorite little chew toy. But this is a awesome choice because they can chew and got four four star review. That's pretty good. Now let me show you the bad hamster wheels and the good hamster wheels. We're going to start with this one for a bad choice. So if you look closely, you can see the holes in there. That is a very bad choice because their little feet could get stuck. And if that were to happen overnight, they'd be stuck in that the whole entire day. Or night, I'm very sorry. <laughs> so... Don't get those, please. Um, yeah. These, they're okay. Hey, let me show They're okay, but I don't like them because they could fly, like, just going circle, circle, circles. Circles, circles, circles. And get fly right off and possibly hurt themselves. So, that is not the best choice. This is another great choice because they cannot most likely fall out <laughs> and you can connect it to a wall which is awesome and then to end this with this wheel this wheel is a great choice for a hamster it spins great no noise um they have bigger sizes depending on the size of your hamster this is how big it is compared to my hand yep compared to my hand um bigger but my hamster was little she was a Syrian white dwarf. White dwarf, I'm sorry. <laughs> and it's great because you see those little, like, steps, I guess. That's what we could call them. They can grip onto those. Anyways, guys, well, that's it for the video. Unless you want to see my guinea pig. Um, that is the good and bad things about hamsters. Any... Like, I'd recommend getting, like, a water bottle to them, let them drink some water. I have a water bottle somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Is it in the sink? Nope, it's not there. Um, I really don't know. I'll show you in the next video. But, yeah. That is good and bad things for getting a hamster. And my hamster did pass away, like, a week ago. I miss her a lot. But... Her name was Coconut, and she was a white dwarf hamster with, like, a gray stripe down her back. I miss her a lot, but I have pictures of her and stuff. Um, num, 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 num. Let me show you in the next video. Um, okay, now I can introduce you to my guinea pigs, and then I will be all done. Okay, let me get one. This is Chester. He is pretty much full grown. This is him compared to my hand. Pretty big. Um, I got him like a few months ago. Come here, weirdo. I call him, um, uh, what do I call him? Oh yeah, Doofus, because he's kind of wacko. But this is him. His name, his original name was Lucky, but we named him Chester. Chester. And when I got him, he was so little. Um, he was in quarantine actually when I got him because he had gunk in his eye, but his eyes are pretty much buck normal sometimes or something in there, but. This is my baby one. Mm, I love you. This is Rocky. He came with a brother named Charles, and his original name was Coco, but we couldn't keep it because my hamster's name was Coco. So we named him Rocky. He's like three, two or three. This is his coloring. He's pretty. And I love him very much too. Say hi. Hello. <laughs> This is my last guinea pig. His name is Charles. And he came with um, Rocky. We got them at Bishop Animal Shelter. Um, This is his face. And I love him very much. Alright guys. The next video. Bye.